Hey there everybody, it's Mark Crilly. I'm back with a quick little bonus video to tell you about my trip down to Orlando, Florida, where I got to see my artwork hanging in the Orlando Museum of Art. More on that later, but uh, first I'll tell you about how they gave me a private tour of the museum before it even opened. That was kind of awesome, going around seeing uh, the amazing oil paintings that they have on display there. Uh, you know, every young artist, you dream of someday seeing your artwork hanging in a museum, and that is exactly what I got to experience this past weekend when I saw the uh, exhibition. Bam! It's a picture book. This exhibition, originally created by the National Center for Children's Illustrated Literature in Abilene, Texas, hats off to them for uh, putting it all together and sending it around the nation. This is the latest uh, uh, display of it. Here you see uh, an original um, cover art painting for the uh, Akiko comic book series that I did back in the 90s. Um, I was doing new artwork on a monthly basis basically back then for each new front cover as the comic came out. So uh, had happily a lot of original art at the end of it. Here they take the front cover uh, and compare it to the original art used to make that front cover. Uh, kind of nice to, to see the difference uh, in size and uh, uh, extra things that you can't see uh, in the published book. One more um, cover art illustration. I always liked that one. Plenty of beloved white gouache on display in this uh, piece here. Oh, then Mickey Falls. Uh, you can see uh, a slightly different technique here. This is my black uh, Prismacolor, my trusty black Prismacolor he used to create that artwork. And uh, they did the same kind of thing here. They show the uh, front cover of Mickey Falls Winter and then beside it the original artwork uh, that was used uh, to create that cover. Uh, but uh, yeah, as I said, uh, black Prismacolor scanned in and then later gray tone for Mickey Falls. And Brody's Ghost, of course, the third of the sort of big three. Uh, and here you can see the fateful moment when uh, the ghost Talia meets Brody for the first time. Double page spread there. And uh, the debut appearance of uh, Kagemura, the samurai ghost. Look at all that cross hatching. <laughs> That's the Micron Pigma, I think, that I used for that. And uh, here, maybe the most detailed illustration I've ever made in my life uh, for Brody's Ghost Book 2, I think that is. Double page spread, just crawling with detail. Uh, so yeah, there are four other artists in this exhibition. Raina Telgemeier, Matthew Holm, Lincoln Pierce, and Jarrett J. Krasoska. If you live uh, near Orlando, Florida, you can still see this, but you need to get over there quickly because Sunday, November 1st, this coming Sunday, is the last day. Uh, but uh, big thanks to Jane Ferry, who arranged my trip down there. I had such a wonderful time. And, of course, many thanks to all of you uh, for watching this video. You know, as always, I'll be back with another one real soon.